Michael, here we are, another Premier League campaign, starting your defence. How are you feeling ahead of the long 17 weeks? It's definitely going to be a long 17 weeks, but I think it's good. I think it's uh, good for Darts. You're going to play weekly on the highest level, and that's what you want. Coming into this Premier League campaign, there were some question marks around your form after the World Championships. Do you feel you've put that right in the two World Series events? Yeah, maybe, but that's for other people to answer, because you know where... It, Sometimes you're going to have good years, sometimes you're going to have bad years, and that's the way how darts goes all the time, man. Um, I try to respond as good as possible towards it, and I, I think I did with the last two tournaments. We know you prioritise tournaments. Where does the Premier League rank on your yearly list? Second biggest after the World Championship. And then looking at the lineup, is this the strongest lineup we've had in recent years, do you feel? Yeah, in recent years. I think definitely, of course, uh, we'll. Uh, we'll uh, Luke Humphreys playing uh, really good darts and winning lots of tournaments. Luke Lick, uh, Luke Lick, uh, new kid on the block, who does fantastic. I think it's good for darts in general anyway. And I think, uh, I think a lot of people like to see uh, the upcoming games. Michael, thank you. Michael, how much of a boost was it for you winning that Dutch Masters coming into this Premier League? Every tournament I win is always a boost. It's always good and. Uh, of course, to do it on home soil is always nice, it gives you, gives you confidence. And of course, go into this Premier League, you need it, it's going to be tough, it's going to be a hard 17 weeks again, but I'm up for it. What would it mean to try and win a hat-trick at Premier Leagues as well? You've won it a record seven times, what would it mean to get three in a row? It would be nice, but we're 17 weeks away, so we're going to see. But uh, I'm feeling comfortable. You saw you get quite emotional at the end of the final in, in Den Bosch. Does that just show that winning means as much as ever to you now at the stage of your career? Winning always means a lot to me and uh, the, that's the way how it is. And of course to do it then with the people you like are around you and a lot of people uh, I know was watching and that feels good. Thanks, Michael. Michael, you always tell us that you're the man to beat. Are you still the man to beat? Of course. I'm always. Ask any player. They, and they always like to be me. That's the way how it is. Okay. I'm not like, I'm not like, I did, I'd rather say someone else, but that's not, that's not a fact. That's, that will be a lie. But does the, the difference of not being world champion, does that make any difference to you psychologically coming into tournaments like this, or is it all the same for you? No, last time I didn't win the world champion, I won the Premier League as well. Beating Phil Taylor in the final as well. <laughs> Michael, we've seen people struggle in the Premier League, but it's a tournament where you've always excelled in. What is it about the Premier League that seems to bring out the best in you? Because you have to play weekly on the highest level. You get tested constantly, uh, you can't afford mistakes, you have to deal with, uh, with disappointments, you have to deal with uh, fantastic moments, and that's the way our darts is. And, uh, to, to, um, to deal with all the circumstances at the same time, so it doesn't make it easy all the time. We've seen people in the past who have made their debut and just found the first year tour for the with Michael Smith, Gary and Bryce, who is obviously making his debut this year. With all the, all the travelling involved with the Pro Tours and the Euro Tours, how difficult is it, especially when you're not used to it, to manage that schedule with the Premier League but everything else that you're yeah, competing? That, that's not easy, but yeah, then you need to make the right decisions for yourself. But uh, Maybe not to do it one time is difficult, but I'm already doing this my 12th Premier League now. I don't, I, can, I don't know. How many Premier Leagues did I play, Phil? How many Premier Leagues did I play? It's 12. This is my 12th, eh? 12, yeah. Yeah. So I'm already doing it for quite a long time, I think, and uh, it still goes okay. I still won it last year, and I hope I can win another one. Simple as that. We've heard some people talk about the format earlier this week. Paul Nicholson suggested that maybe next year they could do a different format each week, maybe 1,000 and <coughs> one week. Straight in next uh, week. I don't know who uh, tried. Who said that to you? It, it was Paul Nicholson said it in the last. Yeah, Paul, yeah, but that's why he probably stopped playing darts. <laughs> 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 nah, Paul was, <laughs> Paul was a good guy, but nah, leave that to the other people. Uh, that was in one tournament. I would love to see that, but that's a different story. Michael, thank you. You're welcome. How important is it to get off to a good start in Cardiff? Will be. Who, who, it's really important because you always want to start well, but you want to start well, but more important, you need to finish well. And now with, of course, last year was the debut of this format, playing week after week a small tournament. Uh, last year everyone had to adjust himself because it's a lot harder, because it costs a lot more energy, to uh, a lot more 
tensing your body to constantly doing it, but um, now that you get used to it, you have to deal with the situation and then you have to play as good as possible and then to start off the Premier League with a good performance will be nice, yes. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Michael. Um, obviously, we talk about the strength of the lineup this year, but obviously going into it, you're actually the only one that, you're the only player that's won this tournament. Yeah. Does that give you a psychological edge before any darts are being thrown? Nah, I don't need any psychological edge or anything because I think my ability can do enough. But uh, I dealt with any circumstances and other people don't. So maybe maybe that can help me uh, uh, further on long, uh, later in the tournament. But we're going to see.